All righty. How many people know what this is? Yep, you're correct. It is a cassette tape. Well, I guess it kind of gave it away. Right here, it says hard drive enclosure. It's not a cassette tape. But if you are born in a certain time period, you might recognize this as a replica of a cassette tape. But what it really is, is a hard drive enclosure by Arico. Now, the folks at Arico were kind enough to send this over for me to, to take a look at, open up, use, and give my honest opinion on it. So, comes in this box right here. I already took it out because I wanted to test it before we did anything else. Now, I'm sure a bunch of you out there have thought to yourself, you know, I should probably go ahead and buy an external SSD so I can back up my stuff. Now, you can go buy a dedicated external SSD and it's going to run you, depending on what the size is, let's say a terabyte, two terabytes, um, can cost you around a hundred bucks for a good one. Where in comparison, this particular hard drive enclosure here is around 12 to $15. And that's a huge savings, okay? So, I've always been a huge fan, a huge proponent of hard drive enclosures. I will put up a video here in the card that you can go and take a look at. I did on why you should never buy uh, an external dedicated SSD. I mean, there are times where it's okay to go ahead and buy these external SSDs, but in this particular case, this gives you so much more flexibility. So basically it's just this small little enclosure here and it's a tool-free enclosure. On the side, it has the connection port that goes to USB-A, USB 3.0 on your computer. And as far as the specs go, this will work with pretty much any 2.5 SATA 1, 2, or 3 hard drive to transfer files from here to either, I don't know, your PC, your laptop, PS4. It has super speed USB 3.0. And like I said, it does work with both SSDs and HDDs. So if you have an older hard drive that you pulled out of like a laptop or something and you need to get some files off of it, this is just a perfect solution. So like I said, let's go ahead and give it a try and show you how easy it is. All you got to do is pop off the top here and you can see on the inside here, let's get it into the light. There we go. That you have the SATA connection right here. So all you have to do is take your hard drive. Now, one thing to note is that this has a six terabyte hard drive limit. And I think the reason for that is you can see the height of this right here. I think when you get above six terabytes, and this might be something you want to pay attention to, is if you get above six terabytes, this gets a little bit thicker and won't fit inside this enclosure. So all you have to do is sort of line up where your connectors are, stick it in here, pop it in, toss the front back on, and you're good to go. Now you have a portable hard drive that you can use on almost any device that accepts USB external hard drives. This is the cord that comes with it. So you can see that it has this USB 3.0 uh, USB-A connector that connects directly into the side here. And this whole device is capable of up to five gigabit per second transfer rate, okay? So now that you have that set up, all you have to do is take this side, plug it into your computer and it'll mount it just like an external hard drive. Now there is an upgraded version of this, which is not that much more, which is basically USB um, C to USB C, right? So it gives you a six gigabyte per second transfer rate. Whereas this mini micro USB, I guess B connector to the 3.0 USB A gives you a five gigabit per second. So if you want that little bit of extra speed, you can. But again, what I always say is that this USB A type connector here is the most universal on all computers. Having this makes it very compatible with anything that you kind of want to plug it into. And again, you know, if you have a PS4 or an Xbox, you can take this and use it to install your games on. You can put all your saves on here. If you're using it on a PC, you can put your, you know, your game saves on here, your art app sets on here and it's completely portable, ready to go to the next computer. Now, one thing to note is that I do find it uh, just a little bit squirrely to try to get these hard drives out of here. And maybe I'm not doing it in the correct way, but you basically kind of have to angle it up in order to get a handhold on it. And you can see I'm struggling a little tiny bit and it makes you a little bit nervous because you feel like you don't want to have to, you know, damage your hard drive in any way. But what I find is that it likes to hook on this little bottom part down here. So if you kind of pull it up and away from that, then you have plenty of space in order to be able to grab the hard drive and pull it out. And like I said, the convenience of having 
a small little portable hard drive like this where you can take any of the hard drives that you have. Let's say you're working on a laptop and you're upgrading it to a SSD. It was an old HDD and it was a slow machine. And you're putting a new SSD in there. You get everything installed and you think to yourself, ah, oh, crap. I totally forgot to get a couple files off that old hard drive. You know, at that point in time, what do you do? Well, you just grab this sucker right here, toss your old hard drive in, plug it up to your machine and grab the files that you need and you're good to go. And I would have to say that it's kind of cool looking, you know, it's, it looks like an old retro uh, cassette tape, um, having it set on your desk, plugged into your computer. It's kind of, kind of a covert way to have a hard drive enclosure sitting on your desk and kind of still look pretty cool. But that's about it. You know, I, I would say that I absolutely love these hard drive enclosures. I've had one from Mariko that I've used for years. This is a new one here with a, sort of a different look that I absolutely love. It's gonna be my daily driver. It's gonna sit on my desk. One of the things I do like to do, and I'll show you that real quick, hold on, is I find that if I use something like this, you can see it's a USB, well, let me show you here. It's a USB adapter for a, a lightning adapter iPhone, right? So if you take your phone like this, plug this into the lightning connector, plug USB into here, um, you will have to provide power because this does is a powered unit. You can use it in the Files app on your, on your iPhone or any other phone that sort of accepts USB uh, external drives. Copy files, like sometimes if I'm recording large video files on here, easily copy it off here onto this hard drive, take it out, plug it into my, into my computer, and I'm good to go. So again, thanks to the folks at Orico for sending this over. I absolutely love this design. I love the flexibility of no, not having any tools to take this off. You know, love the ability to sort of pull these hard drives out, swap another one in if I need to. Again, if you're looking for this, I will leave the link down below. This is the Orico 2.5 inch hard drive enclosure, 2580. This is definitely a winner for me. And I just wanna make sure you guys got a chance to see this. Um, if you have any questions about it, leave it down below in the comments. Toss a like if this helped you. Subscribe, I'd love to see you back. Like I said, I love inviting people to my desk, looking at these doodads and these gadgets and stuff and and really just trying them out to see how they work and see which ones are worth buying. And I think this is a go, especially for around 12 to 15 bucks. But again, hope you all like this. And uh, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.